Hi guys, Michael here bringing you a look at Sailfish on the N9. So this is obviously a hack, it's not an official port, um, but there's a fair few things that are working, so I thought I'd just give you guys a quick um, run through. So you can double tap to unlock, just like on a mutton. Then you've got your pulley menu, that shows your date, silent sounds, phone, camera, and settings. So you just drag it. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that noise there. I'm just trying to bring it closer. It sort of makes like a little um, ticking sound and there's also some um, haptic feedback. So you've obviously got your date, your Wi-Fi, and some notifications. So flicking forward takes you to your multitasking screen, so this is your um, open apps. You get to see four at a time. Obviously, if you have more than four apps, they'll make the um, box smaller, like I'll show you in a second, and you'll have up to nine displayed at any given time. So these are the active um, covers that Yola has been talking about a fair bit. They allow you to do things without even having to go inside the app directly. So as you can see here, there's a little um, message box, a plus, uh, what looks like a clock, an alarm, and a search. So what you can do is actually flick the cover, and as you'll see there, the search icon appears. So you release it, it'll take you inside the app and straight to that command. So like a Martin, to get out of the app, you just have to swipe up. So going through, you've also then got your app launcher, and you can keep scrolling, etc. Flicking from the left side gives you a quick notification list. So this would be equivalent to the events feed on Hamartin. Um, you can pull down to update, which will just refresh them, clear, and you can set your presence details. So what this is, is like your online status with Facebook Messenger, Google Talk, XMPP accounts, Java, all that sort of stuff. So you just have to click cancel and they're gone. So with this build, you can um, obviously do most of the things, though there are a few bugs. So for some reason, if you want to swipe down to close the app, it works, though it's not actually closing it. For some reason, you have to swipe from the right side to close it, which is the same as you have to swipe from the right side to lock it. So this is just a little bug, obviously. Um, hopefully it can be fixed soon, um, but it's not really that big of a deal. A lot of the time you'll also notice that some screens will get stuck in landscape mode. So when I first did Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi was in landscape, though the keyboard was in portrait. So it was a bit confusing. A lot of time notifications as well will appear um, along the right side of the device in landscape instead of obviously appearing at the top. So giving you guys a quick look through, you've got your phone app, which obviously you're going to dial. So this would show you a list of your call history, so made calls, received calls, missed calls, that sort of thing. Pull down will open call contact, which allows you to go into the contacts. I'll show you in a second, and enter phone number. So that's your dial pad, really standard, really easy. You just have to dial and then flick call. So call contact, as I said, goes into contacts. I don't have any contacts at the moment because this is obviously a brand new flash, but let's add one right now, if we can. To add a, call, a contact, you just have to go into the people app. <coughs> Excuse me. So all you have to do is click add contact. First name, Michael, leave last name, and let's go phone add mobile 0414123456 you can tap there phone is obviously still there and then all you have to do is either tap or you can swipe so now you'll see that the M is highlighted you can tap that and it says Michael you can also tap and hold to either edit add to favorites or delete we'll add to favorites for now 
And let's go back into the um, call application. As you can see here now, it's obviously made the active frame smaller. Um, so you will be able to see nine at a time instead of the four that I showed you previously. So now in call contact, you have the ability to call me. Obviously, I don't have a SIM card in there at the moment, so it's not going to work. Plus, it's not a real number. And as you can see, it also says emergency calls only. So flicking back out. To close an app, all you have to do is tap and hold and click the X. Or to close everything, you can pull down and click close all. Camera doesn't work at the moment. Um, I'll just show you what that's like. It shows you a half black, half see-through, or I should say transparent um, screen. You've got your options. So as you can see, their options are fairly extensive in terms of being able to choose different autofocus um, settings, obviously some light settings, white balance settings, flash, that sort of thing. Um, not obviously the same as on Nokia camera on the Lumia 1020 or on the 808 Pure View, but this isn't really a camera centric um, device. Well, I should say the Yola device isn't camera centric. So to close again, just tap and tap the X. Um, I've been playing around with this for a few days. It's pretty responsive. I'm enjoying it um, to say the least. Obviously, a few things don't work like the Android layer, it is being worked on by the community if it can happen. We're still currently exploring that. Um, there are a fair few apps already in the store. I think there's about a dozen or so, and considering that most of those people with the older devices aren't developers, that's a great testament to the community. <coughs> Excuse me. So as you see, there says system update available. That was for the one point. 0.1.10 update that was released yesterday though it won't obviously work on the N9 so you'll still be getting that update and I will show you in a second that I am actually running 1.0.1.10 so well, store is obviously a little bit buggy so I'll just scroll to the top so what it is is it shows you a little section that says essential apps from Yola. So this is obviously your calculator, calendar, file manager, terminal, all that sort of stuff. You've also then got here what's new in the store. So when people will add apps, it'll obviously show you what's new. And it'll also show you users' comments of the apps and what they've liked. So you can sort of see what other people that are using the device have been downloading without having to um, sort of go into every single app and saying, okay, so this has 150 downloads, so this must be popular, that sort of thing. So it's sort of like a feed of the community of users um, and what they're using. So it's just one of those nice little touches. You can swipe to the right and give you a category list. And here you have, obviously, your option to have all apps um, or break them down into categories. So here you can do show apps with most likes. Just flick back there and you keep scrolling so as you can see it says one like who the author was etc so let's just go into the calculator for now so here it tells you that there's been a thousand and five downloads 20 people have liked it a little description of it and if you scroll down you then can see the screenshots and you can swipe through and get a um, little feel for what for what the apps gonna look like Scrolling down further, you can see some comments and some reviews. You can leave your comment, and then also it'll show you um, apps from the same developer. Swiping back out. Oh. For some reason, I've noticed that if you use your thumb, it's a lot more responsive than just using your finger. So that's a really quick look, or not really that quick, it's almost 10 minutes long, um, of Sailfish running on the N9. As I said, it is a community um, port. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't expect everything to be working. Um, obviously, the majority of things are like mobile network, um, data connection, some sounds, calling, that sort of thing. I even believe Bluetooth is working, though I haven't tried it myself. GPS, I know, doesn't work. Developer mode does. There's currently a fix coming for time and date where you can actually set the proper time. Um, currently, you can set the date and then it'll revert back for some reason, though you can set the time zone you're in. 
in the about section you can see there's my information real big deal my IME eyes on display I don't really care it doesn't have my sim card in it I don't even use this um, N9 I use my black one um, it's a lot of broken stuff the front camera doesn't work anyway that's off topic so as you can see here it's on 1.0.1.10 I changed the name to hybrid because obviously it's not the official one and it is a combination of 1.0.0.5 which is the launch um, version and the new version with some mixed packages from Nemo as well so obviously it's a hybrid. I was going to call it Frankenstein but whoop, there goes my tripod, obviously I'm using my hands to um, gesticulate a little bit too much and I hit the tripod. Anyway that doesn't really matter, I'm babbling. So yeah, really quick look at sailfish running on the N9. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll also add a tutorial um, in the link below and thanks for watching guys. Cheers.